My name is Bill Daniel, and uh, I'm an artist and an art appreciator. Um, I've been immersed in art for the last 60 years of my life, and I'm just totally impressed with Arso Ivanovich here in Carlsbad. Um, I'm so impressed and so inspired by his work, and I want to share some of it with you. And... Um, probably get an idea of how he comes about doing the kind of paintings that he does. Arso, my friend, thank you for having me today. You're welcome. And um, this particular painting, I've stood here for almost an hour looking at this. What inspired you to do this? And it's I'll step away so you can see it. Composition by itself figure human as you see i don't have and this one here some kind of abstract painting or something like more figurative uh -huh. that is clear object what i have there whatever is there and it's nice big size and colors what i'm using and entire composition usually it's like red orange a little bit blue mostly that is plus yeah. some variation of that color something different and i try to figure something like that you know some figure what is in the real world, and some kind of abstract or surreal world. Yeah, what is something it's behind? Like a fantasy. It's, it's like, like a fantasy. One is an, uh, real, another is behind yeah. something yeah. of my dream or something like okay. that is going okay. on. Like, for example, this here and something around, and this another figure, but this might stay by itself yeah. separately from this. But everything must be in one kind of composition, like looks like more like with the lights or something like three dimension or something like that. I find it absolutely mesmerizing. Uh, some of the some of the images in here, this horse, for instance, and the 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 young man on top there, and and the small children, and and the beautiful images that um, seem to lurk in this dream format. And it's just a very powerful, powerful image. Very powerful. This particular piece here, I, I'm, it, it's so incredibly mysterious because there's all of these portals that lead to places and, it's, and it seems as though there's, there's, there's a um, vast background here that you don't even see, but you have an impression of what it's like simply by the images that you see on this level. This area, these stairwells, totally, totally mysterious. And, and where, did, some, that, where some, did that come from? Is that a some, part of a dream as well? It's some of my own dream. Ah. I have always some kind of that idea, 24 hours. Yeah. Day at night. Wonderful. Even when I'm sleeping or something, I don't sleep many times. I'm just thinking about new project and for weeks, for days, for weeks, an entire project, some new idea are it's ready for me. Mm -hmm. I see entire thing in advance. And this is some kind of futuristic or yeah. surrealistic world for me. Yeah. What you mentioned, the steps. It's going here and there is something, it's going some mysteriously, some kind of the space, something like that. Yeah. It's going and slowly disappearing in the rest, beyond the while, in the rest of the world. Yeah, this is, it's this, going disappearing. This is magical right in here. Going that's, that's farther magical. down behind. And, and, and the, the floral <laughs> aspect of it, these, this, the floral images are out of this world. They're not worldly. It's almost as if they're from some other planet. And it creates this, this mysterious, ethereal uh, composition that just kind of blends together, but it also is separate. There's a separateness about it. This is like in another space, like the universe. It's just so incredibly mesmerizing, incredibly mesmerizing. And I find this piece, the romance in this piece, it is so absolutely romantic that it could be a starlet from the uh, film noir days in Hollywood. 
It could be a, a, a Russian uh, coloratura, uh, a singer uh, on the Russian stage. It's just a powerful, powerful image here. And it's so floral and so beautiful and so bright and so hopeful and, and serene and seductive all at the same time. As you, see, as you see in this painting, you know, like portrait, but my portrait is not like traditional portrait. No, it's not. It's, I like it's... to bring that portrait, that inner world outside. Mm -hmm. And this technique is technique, it's oil, but technique crystallization. Mm -hmm. If you look very close, all around, little in details, it's That's all the little crystallization. Crystal, it's crystal around here and That's there. That's magical. That nobody Nobody's in the world that. is able to copy my work. That's of crystallization, of that's course. That's incredible. That's it's completely absolutely different. Absolutely but incredible. She's in her own world. Mm -hmm. She's herself there. The, 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 the <laughs> thoughtfulness of her impression and her expression is, is very, very uh, intimate. There's an intimacy here that is just so... She's so vulnerable, but she's protected by the light and the color. That's a... Powerful, powerful image. I, I, I'm just, I'm totally inspired by all of the work here. This, this, this is a powerful piece too. Uh, is there any crystallization in the hair? It's completely, all totally. crystallization is here, only if we have to put maybe some different lights to be seen a little more or something like that. And uh, as you see now, from the side, if you come very close, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. All around, yeah. all around, all around, around. And the top, it's crystals around. This is oil with crystallization. Mm -hmm. And it's in the canvas, heavy paint. Heavy paint. And crystal in the top of this. No one else is doing this. Nobody's doing this in the world. It's my own. How I did it, better don't ask me. It's fantastic. I don't know how I did it. It was my dream. Well, it's, it's, it's called creativity. Nobody it's called creativity. ever did it yeah. in the history of art. It's very powerful. And I just play with some kind of game. I don't yeah. know, even didn't know, yeah. but it's something, yeah. you know, I did for myself to satisfy myself. It's a very it powerful can. combination. It's the traditional paint, painting like. with crystallization. Yeah. It's very and powerful. now if somebody said, hey, can you make another one, the same one? It's very powerful, yeah. No way that I no, repeat no way myself. To duplicate that. They try to copy me. Mm -hmm. How they copy me if I can not copy myself? That's perfectly said. Uh, we might want to cut right here for a second because there's a painting in one of the bedrooms that I'd like to have Arso tell you about. So let's, let's take a walk in here. Yeah, this is crystallization, this abstract mm -hmm. one. As you see, that there is no figure, no nothing. Uh -huh. Some symbolic kind looks like little vase or balloon in the center. Yeah. And all that contrast and burning red, red color, something in the space yeah, the or fire. out of the space and down that kind of unusual color yeah. mixing together something. But this crystallization, what is a little different technique from this one here. Yeah. This one, small little crystallization, that figure, you see that? But it's very extremely powerful, and you see that silhouette, uh -huh. silhouette, and figure is there. Yeah, yeah. Face, little face, and the there. The silhouette in here, yeah, is so beautiful. Yeah, this body, and the face making this this uh, area just so such an integral part of the painting. Yes, and this down here is just really super interesting. <clears throat> And the other face down here, which is very, very interesting. That is uh, in the canvas again. In the canvas In again. the canvas, crystallization in the canvas. Yeah, incredible. I did it a long time ago, I seen like that, uh, what is that, two? Well, this was 2006. I yeah, yeah, a long time ago, and uh, this well, is even... Ago, two it was 11 years. We're going to enter Arso's studio where he works. Not many people are allowed in here, so we're going to just kind of keep it to ourselves. Follow me. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Al-Qaeda. This is where the magic happens. The magic happens here, folks. Bring the uh, camera this way, please. I, I want to show you this area. It is so... That's my it's place. It's so um, indicative of how the masters work. They're not... Um, they're not concerned about how neat it is because every artist knows their workspace, their workplace, and I guarantee you that there's nothing in here that Arso doesn't know where it is and what it is. To the lay, layman's eye, it looks like a, a, a totally disorganized space, but believe me, I've seen him work in here, and it is phenomenal. Arso, do you want to step right in here for a second, right inside where you work? Yeah, this is my place here. This is some of this, my brushes here, what I'm using, some, this fine one. Mm -hmm. This is some of this unfinished material, what I'm doing now to do something with this piece okay, Let me of get it metal. close to the camera here. Do you get that? This is a wonderful example of the crystallization process. Yes. Wonderful example. It's, it's almost, it's so organic, it looks like there's life in it and it's two-dimensional it's just absolutely incredible i'm working now on this one here beautiful this looks like it could be a study of for something larger Yes, large, big, yeah. huge one. Yeah, this is an incredible. Uh, it's almost mir it's mural like. You you could you could almost see this in a huge room, and this would be one solid wall. Beautifully executed, beautifully executed. I find the crystal. This is one of the studying too. I find the crystallization very. Um, very ethereal. Uh, th there's something that is almost like spontaneity captured immediately, if that's not mixing um, adjectives to a point where it confuses you. But it's so spontane is, uh, spontaneous that, that it looks like it has to be done very quickly before it sets. And I think that's true, isn't it, Arso? Yes, yes. Yes, and this is what I'm working now. At the same time, I'm working at five, six painting at the same time. Incredible. At the same time, yeah. with all a different idea. If you look very close, this one here, if you look, the you face. see that figure here someplace yeah. around. I'm working with small, even much smaller brushes than this. Uh, almost needle Just point. the other. You see that figure here around? You see now that profile here, oh, this wonderful. figure here. Wonderful. Hidden. Yeah. Not that you see that perfectly everything. You have to look at my painting, what they did at West Bend. They took a chair in the front of my painting, uh -huh. that big one, for about 20 minutes trying to figure what is inside. Yeah. You see another figure here. You see that eyes, profile, uh -huh. nose, it's coming there. I'm amazed by the expression on this figure right here. This, the expression of the face yeah, on yeah, that yeah. figure is so positive and so incredibly uh, distinguished that um, it looks like it's a real human being floating in that... Uh, and still, I'm working on this. Yeah. It's not finished. You're still working on that. Probably it'll take me another couple hours. Okay. okay. Depend what I like to put something more and bring that contrast and color mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But this is the process what I'm doing. Wonderful. I, I want to get the cameraman to pan around the room. 
just to give you uh, an idea of the the um, quantity of work that uh, Arso has created over the years, and this is a, just a small part of it. If we had more time, we could go inside these cabinets and we'd be here for a year trying to show you everything. And you'll find, you'll find some of Arso's work at the um, Rocco and Company studio in Palm Springs at 232 North Palm Canyon.